Preparing for Iaido practice at the Japanese Martial Arts Center involves three steps. First, wearing the keiko gi. Second, tying on the obi. And third, tying on the hakama. We're going to show you each of those three steps, and hopefully the illustrations will be clear enough so that you'll be able to follow along. First, tying on the keiko gi. This particular keiko gi has ties, which are quite helpful, but not all uniforms do have ties. Those are held in place by the obi. We tie the inside first and then the outside. And notice that in Japanese martial arts, generally, the left side of the uniform goes over the right side. Next, we move on to tying on the obi. The obi is wrapped around the body as many times as its length will allow. If your obi is too long, you can double back the end fold it underneath and that'll help shorten it up. The end that's on the top comes underneath. This is a good time to tighten it up and then you tie a knot or two in the obi and slide it around to the center of the back. Finally, you step into the hakama, making sure one foot goes on each side of the divided skirt and place the top band of the hakama just underneath the top of the obi. We tie the long bands first above the knot of the obi. Some students do not tie it here, but it does help to keep the hakama tight and nicely fit. Then you bring the long bands around in front, right side over left, and around the back, and again tie it this time below the knot of the obi. For illustrations, we've left a little extra space below the knot of the obi. Generally it's a little tighter together, and you'll tie two half hitches to make a nice tight square knot. Then we go to the back of the hakama. If you have a hard back panel, which most Iaido hakama do, you want that just above the knot of the obi. That little spoon tucks in above the bands of the hakama that are already tied. It's firmly against the back, and then the short bands of the hakama are wrapped around the front, right over left, and the right hand band comes underneath all four. You then tie a standard half hitch into the short bands of the hakama and wrap the ends around what's already tied there. The right side is really not that important as far as which bands you wrap around. We generally wrap around all of them going from top to bottom or inside to out. But on the left side it's important because that's the side the katana goes in. And you want to separate the top band and wrap the end around the bottom three bands. The katana will then come out of the obi above those three bands. We hope you'll visit us at Japanese Martial Arts Center. We think of ourselves as the premier traditional dojo in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We offer instruction in Iaido, Judo, and Nihon Jiu-Jitsu. These are legitimate lineage-based Japanese martial arts, and our instruction is safe and systematic to help you reach your goals. We want you to be safe, healthy, and to learn. We hope to see you soon. Thanks for visiting.